welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a long overdue unboxing. I bought these two things for myself for my birthday this past month and um, I took a while to kind of do this unboxing video. One, because I was waiting for this item that was on back order and I'll get into that later once I unbox it. And this item, I'm still on the fence about keeping it or not. It's really beautiful. I love it. Um, but I'm just not sure if it's practical for me or something that I would actually use. But I'll, I'll stop talking and I'll go ahead with the unboxing. So here we go. I'll start with the Chanel because I feel like maybe that's what you guys want to see first. I'm not sure. It comes in this beautiful box. Chanel always has beautiful packaging. So I actually, I saw this item at a store in Bloomingdale's, I think, and I did love it, but I wanted to order it online on Chanel because it comes with all this beautiful packaging and an optional card. If you, if this was a gift, you can write a message here. I didn't write a message, it's just a blank card, but maybe I'll reuse it for somebody else's birthday or something. We'll see. It's the beautiful Chanel seal. Open that right up. all the safety seal stuff. Okay, you can play, maybe you already saw that picture and can guess what it is. Look at that packaging. Um, so here it has all the care card, an extra cloth, um, a booklet. Now down to the real stuff that we've been waiting for this big leather case the signature quilting of the sunglasses case look how beautiful that is and the reason i got this i love that on this side it has a little chanel logo kind of small and this side is kind of bling bling which normally i don't really love a lot of bling in your face stuff but these glasses fit me really well. So the reason this was on back order and I was waiting for this was I, like I said, I mentioned I saw this item in a Bloomingdale store. I tried it on and a lot of these sunglasses don't fit my face. I'm Asian and I have a small nose bridge and a flat face. So it's either too big for me here. And then um, this part hits my cheeks in a way that kind of rubs off my makeup on the inside and I really don't like it. But I tried on this pair and it actually fit really well, pretty well. So um, like I said, I wanted to buy it online for the prettier packaging versus like a Bloomingdale's packaging. So I went home and ordered it online. And when it, the first pair arrived, it just didn't fit the same. Like this, this part kept sliding off my nose. It just felt so huge. And I didn't understand why it felt so different in store versus the one I bought online. And then I realized online there's two options for the fit. There's the standard fit, and then there's also an alternative fit. And the alternative fit has longer nose bridges for people like me with flatter noses, flatter faces. So it's, a, it's smaller and these nose bridges are higher. So I returned the standard fit original one and I ordered the alternative one, but that one was on back order. And I guess the store I went to, it's in Orange County, maybe there's a, I don't know, higher population of Asians, so they ordered the alternative foot more often, which is why I, I tried that one on in store. But nevertheless, now you guys know if you are someone like me with a lower nose bridge, you can uh, order these glasses or other glasses in the alternative fit. But these are so gorgeous. I think they're beautiful. It's a little bit blingy, but not super like, you know, diamond encrusted around here or anything like that. So it's still pretty subtle from the front, but little Chanel goodness from the side. Okay, now moving on to the next box. This is from Neiman Marcus and it's pretty big. So I don't know if you guys can already maybe guess what's in here. Let me undo this ribbon. Oh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty on there, pretty tight. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Great packaging too, very secure. Look at all this padding. All right, slow <laughs> reveal. Da -da -da. 
Da -da -da. <laughs> All right, look at this box. So you can probably at this point guess what this is. Wow, lots of layers of paper. Ooh, look at these. So, so pretty. Let me check this out. So I think these are so beautiful. And I did try them on in the store and I fell in love with how they looked on me and the dress I was wearing at the time. The only reason that now I'm kind of second guessing is I'm not really a heels person. I don't really wear heels that often and I'm pretty clumsy actually. All my shoes get like scuffed because I just, <laughs> I don't know, I knock around and I kick things I guess. But I love the way these looked. I love the way they made my legs look and I thought like maybe I'll force myself to become a heels person or I mean not force myself but I don't know these just elevate your look and I think as I'm getting older maybe I want to do look want to look a little bit classier but again these are a lot of money and it's like I better wear them a lot right um if I'm going to be spending this much money on them but four inch heels which is you know really high it's pretty high for someone who doesn't really wear heels that much um so while I love them and they're beautiful, I'm just trying to see if they would be practical for me and fit my lifestyle, or maybe these are just kind of like special occasion shoes for weddings and or stuff like that, um, or maybe I couldn't get used to them. I will say, being someone who doesn't really wear heels, these are fairly comfortable for the fact that of them being such high four inch heels. And I do love that they have the strap, which means um, I have a problem with my heel kind of lifting out of uh, like pump type covered heels. And with these, these are like strapped onto my foot. So it's just, it just stays on. It's, it's fairly comfortable for four inch heels and more easy, like easier to walk in than other stilettos. So I do, I do love that about these shoes. Um, I do have a little bit of a wider foot like in this area and it's, it's pretty roomy it's pretty comfortably snug I'd say not snug but it's it's roomy enough to fit your even my giant kind of uh, ball of foot area so let me know what you guys think do you think this is something I can really wear maybe not every day but <laughs> enough to make it worth the money to make it worth keeping special occasions date nights things like that um so let me know so these are my two goodies, the shoes and the sunnies. Again, let me know if you would keep these shoes, how you would style these shoes or how you do style these shoes. What do you wear them with? Do you just wear them with dresses, with jeans, um, special occasions every day? What are your thoughts on these? And yeah, let me know. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and I hope you guys have a great day, a great week. I would really love it if you guys hit that subscribe button and maybe comment down below, um, just your thoughts. Thank you.